YouTube, how are you doing? And welcome back to Conrad Stevenson's Paranormal PI. It seems like every week I come back with another new update for this game because this developer is absolutely crazy and it has been a new update yet again where there is another ghost added to the new map. There are now four ghosts on this map, which the really cool part about this map is that all ghosts are there at the same time. So you could literally run around the map and find four different ghosts if you want to have like a super long and immersive investigation. I think this is a really cool idea. And in this video, obviously, we're going to be checking out the new ghost, which is going to be a ton of fun. I really hope you join us. If you're not subscribed, please do so. If you like the video, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it. But let's not waste any more time on the top of the game. Let's go. Alrighty. Well, the rain outside. Has there always been? Has there always been rain outside? I know there's been cars outside, but I don't know if there's rain outside. What a comfy little office. Comfy little office. Uh, I think, actually, when you get a ghost... Doesn't it do that? When you get a ghost in this game, it like adds a screenshot of that ghost to your office, which is really cool. Look at that. Half-bodied apparition. The proof we needed. But let's check out the new ghost, which is going to be... Did they change the... Oh, the map looks... Does the map look different or am I crazy? I think it looks a little less vibrant. Uh, we're going to go back to the church on Spruce Street. Also, as soon as I click this button right here, my whole stream is going to start lagging for a moment. So bear with me. You're going to see me be in like one FPS right now. Because that's just how the game works. Unless you fixed it. Oh, no. There we go. <laughs> there we go. The pastor contacted me and advised that several parish members have stories about spirits haunting the church and surrounding grounds. He specifically asked if I could help determine if any of these accounts have merit. There are a few spirits on his list I'd like to investigate. The Lost Reverend, a couple of mysterious shadows... The Gravedigger, Mr. Sedgerstein, Sager and a resentful Stein? angel Sager of the Stein? mausoleum. It seems this church has developed quite a reputation for paranormal activity. I'm sure I'll be able to find enough evidence to support their claims and put their minds at ease. Alrighty, so there you go. We got... Uh, oh, oh, I can't open my thing, but I can't actually see it. Uh, we have four different ghosts now. Previously, there were... It started with one, and then every, like, week... Or every, like, two weeks, he's added another ghost to this map. So we could go over to the church and inspect the lost reverend around the church and the shadows, which is also going to be around the uh, graveyard here. We could go to the mausoleum, which is at the mausoleum, which is actually a building up there that you can go inside. There's so many different buildings to this place. It's, like, the most open map we've ever seen in a ghost hunting game, which is really, really interesting. However, we are going to investigate Mr. She Siegerstein? Siegerstein, which is spotted around Cabin, which if you remember, I've walked around this map before. Obviously, oh my god, don't do that. Obviously, the church is right there, which looks absolutely beautiful. We can't go into that house, but we have seen uh, a ghost, which I think the Lost Reverend walks between these two maps and the, or between these two buildings and the ghost, uh, the shadow can be seen both inside the church as well as over here in the graveyard. Now, there is several other graveyards over through the forest, which we are going to definitely go through the forest here. I don't know if there's going to be... Can I get my camera? If there's going to be a uh, ghost immediately here. Because we could actually just hop from one ghost to another. There's nothing stopping you from checking out all the ghosts at once, which is really interesting. You could literally just be exploring and all of a sudden find a ghost. Uh, in a random... I mean, not a random location, because the ghosts are bound to a certain location. Because every ghost in this game is a... I guess there's five ghosts, technically, as you guys are saying, because this ghost and that ghost are, like, sh uh, like twins. The shadow ghosts are twins. Um, now there should be here... I think this is it. The cabin in the woods. Look at that. Doesn't that look creepy? We've been here several times, and every time we went here, I was like, I wish there was a ghost in this place. And then whoop de doo the dev went like, all right, we'll make that happen. Uh, now, I don't know anything about this ghost. It's a grave digger, right? Or didn't he say it was a grave digger? I'm pretty sure he said it was a grave digger, so he's probably going to have a shovel. Karen, in, it's not a Karen in the woods. It's a cabin in the woods. So do you have light switches in here? Or is this like completely, this might be completely broken. Oh, no, there is. They changed the icon for this. I like that icon a whole lot more. They used to say, like, press the interact key to turn on the lights. Now it's just a little hand. That's so much better. Well, here we go. They changed... I don't actually know what they changed besides adding the new ghost. Uh, but that seems to be one of the changes. Now, why don't we have a little chat with this? Oh, how do I do this again? I forget the buttons. There we go. Can you tell me your name? Is Can it going to say Mr. Seeger sign? 
I don't know. Conlamo, thank you for the prime. Can you tell me your name? Please. Tell me how to pronounce it. Tell me how to pronounce your name! Alright, what else do we got? So if you don't if you've never seen this game before, welcome to Conrad Steve is this paranormal PI. It is a single player exclusive ghost hunting game that is all about like being immersed in Oh, there's still there's still the interact button sometimes. I don't know if that's intended. I guess on the doors it is. Um which I oh, don't know. This is so dark. It's so spooky out here. I wish you could you know what would be really cool if you could set up like lanterns and stuff uh in this game. Oh, is that that's probably fake. While this is a high EMF level, it seems to be normal. Although they may want to call an electrician to ensure everything is wired oh, correctly. Oh, wait, really? This... Oh, no, there's just a freaking... <laughs> I love that. that. They changed that recently where they have added, like... Fa wait. They've added, like, false positive, also, uh, explanations to the game where the character will go, like... Oh, hi there. Uh, where the character will go, like, hey, yeah, that is not actually a thing. Also, look at all these tools. What the heck? That's a, that looks like a penis. That is obviously a chainsaw. Lots of chainsaws. This looks like a dangerous place. Looks very... I feel like this should be closed off if you leave this open in the middle of the woods with no cameras around. I feel like everyone's just gonna steal this stuff. You know you know how it goes. You know the drill. People are not very honest. So we have the... Uh, this was I was obviously walking around with my EMF trying to find any readings because I don't know where exactly this ghost is. It might be in the... Oh, they're getting a little reading. It might be in the cabin, since that is where the, the journal told us we should go. But we also could look for some temps. Could I get the temperature gun and put it on not F units? Fuck you, units. Peach Shimey, thank you for the gift sub. Uh, you're probably going to tell me this is a normal reading. I think you're going to tell me that, so I'm not interested. Because as long as it doesn't go super... Oh, yeah, this is just going to... Is this because the window? These temperature fluctuations appear to be normal. What is my favorite salad? Just give me a classical Caesar salad, and I'm a, and I'm a happy man. I don't know where that question came from, but I love myself a good salad. I'm not from the United States, that's why. I still remember my friend in, my friend in high school used to always refer to salads as decorations, and I was like, my my guy, my guy. Maybe that's <laughs> maybe you should look in the mirror where that got you. Can I open this? I cannot. <laughs> that was, uh... I, I think he did it to, to just joke around, though. <laughs> I don't think it was actually... Oh! I swear I saw a ghost over there. I don't know where I'm looking. Like, obviously, this is the place. This is the cabin. Now, over there, we can see the mausoleum, actually. Look at that. You see that big building? We've been there. Last video, we went to the mausoleum, which had a very fancy-looking ghost. A uh, guy with a top hat walking around, which was uh, a nice guy. I think he said a few things on the EVP, but not too much. Now, I don't know what type of ghost we're dealing with here. There's four different types of ghosts in this game. I really hope we get to see a demon soon. Like, there's only one demon in the game, and it's absolutely incredible. I love the demon. What is that? Oh, it's just a plant. And I hope to see more demons. So let, let's... Why don't we have a little chat? Because I think demons can also EVP. I think every ghost can EVP ex... Oh, wait, no. That's not true at all. Most ghosts... The residual can't EVP. The, uh... Poltergeist can't EVP. And a shadow ghost can't EVP. So I don't know what type this is. But let's see. Is this your home? Is this your home? Are you sleeping out here? I mean, you seem to be not here right now. But maybe that's because you're fucking dead. Who dug your Is grave, your huh? Home? If you're the grave digger, then who dug the grave of the grave digger? This is this is a is paradox. Is there anything you'd like to tell me? I love that. The cr the creepy little garage. Is there anything you'd like to tell me? Ghost does not seem to be very vocal. I think we have to find a location first. So let's stop this. Let's walk around until we find a cold spot. Because we need to find a hot zone. Or cold zone, I guess. Uh, to figure out where the ghost is hanging out. Man, you are right here. Why Why are these outside of the cemetery? You just put two gravestones here? Seems kind of rude. Now, are you? Is this the cabin? Or do we have to go deeper into the forest? I feel like this is the cabin. 
Nothing paranormal about yeah, these yeah, type yeah, of Yeah, 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 yeah. I know. I just wanted to finish that. I just wanted to feel completionist. What does it say? Hell serv hot servers. I saw this as hell servers. Free gravestones. The aren't, aren't coffins like incredibly expensive? Why are coffins so expensive? It's just a wooden box. I I'm not trying to make you think about the stuff that you're gonna have to do once you're. <laughs> Let's. Maybe not the most fun thing to think about. You tell me. I don't know. Can I go over here? It's a fancy wooden box. I guess it has to withstand like literal, like many, many, many years of just being underground. Capitalism. I see. I don't know what. I can walk around here. I can't go in the forest, right? Wait, I can? Oh God, I'm gonna get so lost. I can just walk through the trees. I cannot walk through the actual tree trunks, but I can watch th walk through the... I am completely lost. What have I done? Oh, I can see the road. Never mind. I'm not lost. Is there another... Let's use this because I can't see around anything else. Um, is there another cabin? I'm just making sure we're at the right cabin because it's set around the cabin, but I'm pretty sure that there's a... Why is it so creepy sounding? This is spooky. Where's the tree? Where's the tree ghost that just jumps you from the trees to scare the heck out of you? I love the sound. This is. So There's a freaking deer! Hello? Are you gonna run away? Hello? Oh! There you go. So cool. I don't know if there's. Can I follow you? He's a little. Well, happy deer. I think we reached the end. Yeah, we're back to the road. This is where the... It's really well done. Like, the, the fading in and out of the different ambient noises. So now we're at the, like, open ambient noise. There's the, the other graveyard. I don't think there's another cabin in this wood. So I think we're going to go back to the actual cabin where we were and try to get some evidence. Try to find some EMF, maybe. Uh, see a ghost walking around if we can. That's the ultimate goal, to take a photo of a ghost. Now, you can't take a photo of every ghost... Except the poltergeist, but I don't know if this is I I don't know. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's a poltergeist Maybe we'll start seeing things be thrown around. I am going to get lost. I think it's just this way Also that thing is floating. I think I'm just supposed to go this way. It's hunting. Uh, I don't think that happens Have you ever been hunted in real life by a ghost? I hope I can walk over this. I can thank you very much limited league. Thank you for the prime and Sahara Thank you for the prime as well the four months you have you have been hunted how did how did it feel how did you avoid the ghost did you hide in your closet to turn off your flashlight I, i'm just i'm waiting to get jumped here all right we're back at the cabin Let's see anything in the distance i think i'm just gonna walk around with emf we need to find a location first yeah this game is so chill it's a very comfy game for a ghost hunting game oh no that's just the breaker again for a ghost hunting game it's very comfy any lights turn off or on? I like the lights are so well done in this game. Like it's an actual light instead of it being just like a fake light source that doesn't even have a lamp attached to it. Are you in this cabin, huh? Are you sleeping? Who is who are you staying with you here? Queen of nothing. Thank you for the five good subs. Thank you. Oh, what is this? Is it the lamp? Oh, I can throw that on too. So nice and cozy here. Can I turn on... Oh, this as well. All the lights. I don't think the, the ghosts actually mind the lights being on, so I can just leave them on. Uh, let's look for temps. No temps. Can I Can I chop... Can I pick up the axe? I wish I could. I haven't chopped wood in ever. Or, well, I have done it at some point, but... I haven't gone on, on, on a camping in so long. I love fireplaces. I ho uh, Is there a fireplace in this game? I don't think there is. I could literally, as a child, I could just light a fire in a camp, like a campfire or like a fireplace. I could watch These that temperature shit fluctuations for hours. I love fire. I'm, I'm surprised I didn't turn into some pyromaniac who literally... <laughs> I could, I went on the straight path. I, I chose the, I chose the paragon option instead of the, what's the other? I forget the other. I never do the other. 
Uh, wait, what the heck is it? It's Paragon and... In uh, Mass Effect. I forget. Help me out. Renegade! Oh my god, I could, my brain was literally stun-locked until I knew the answer to that question. Thank you, guys. Paragon and Renegade. I want to play Mass Effect. Mass Effect genuinely... Like, play or watching Stranger Things. I finished watching Stranger Things two days ago. Absolutely incredible. Highly recommend if you haven't already. Oh. Oh. No, what the fuck? There's a ghost out here. I found it. I was interrupting myself. But I didn't get the reading, though, because it wasn't long enough. Does that mean there is someone over here? So I'm just going to be camping out here then, huh? So I absolutely highly recommend watching Stranger Things. Uh, it's gonna take a little while before the fifth season comes out. I think like two years, so I'm a little sad, but uh, definitely worth it. And it ends in a way that you don't are like, you aren't like, oh my god, I'm going to not think about anything else until the five fifth season comes out. Like it ends pretty well. So yeah, definitely could just watch it now and don't have to wait two years. No spoilers, obviously. Um, oh, all of this. Look at that. Look at that. That's such a nice lighting. Really think lighting is the most important. This, this is mine, not yours. He said it twice in a row, and it didn't even give a fuck. Are you stuck? Very unusual noise. I'll keep that as evidence. He he really wants us to know that it's mine, not yours. He said it fucking, it was so important. He said it three times in a row. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, then. <laughs> Hi there. Is there someone out here? That sounded like it came from the trees. Oh. Then they came from over here. That is ours. It's, it, oh, here we go. Yes, yes, yes. It's probably fake. Looks Fuck like you! This is what is it? Oh, come on, you stupid breaker boxes everywhere. I hate you. I hate you. Okay, I was talking about Stranger Things. Really good. Highly recommend. But, watching Stranger Things made me uh, rem or remember Mass Effect, which kind of has a similar style story between 1, 2, and 3. Like, the, the, the way the stakes develop in Stranger Things is very similar to how the stakes develop in Mass Effect. Which I made me want to replay that game because it's probably one of my favorite, or it is one of my favorite games of all time. Like a whole one, two, three, absolutely incredible. But it takes so long that I don't know when I will get to play that. There's gonna be a few ho longer horror games that we're gonna be playing uh, in the near future. We might actually oh start playing. This is not a real re. What are you talking about? You're just gonna say nothing paranormal yeah, about but these temperature readings. I wasn't telling you that it was. You are convincing yourself, and then you're telling me that it. Like I don't even know what that interaction is. That interaction makes no sense. It's mine, not yours, my guy. Mass Effect Two is your favorite game of all time. I think Mass Effect Three is also incredible. I think just the whole, the way I played Mass Effect was I played Mass Effect Three first. Then I played Mass Effect 2 and 3. Then I played Mass Effect 1, 2, and 3. And every time Mass Effect 3 was a completely new experience because of the way you can carry over your save file between the games. Um, there's like there whole new characters like that show up me. that are never there before, which is really cool. Um, like the whole game is different if you play them with the save file. Is there from anyone the here game. who would like to speak with me? Siegerstein, maybe? No Siegerstein here. Is there anything you'd like to tell me? Will I play Elden Ring again? I haven't played Elden Ring since the last stream. It's been a while. Mr. Jaster, thank you for the prime. Is there anything you'd like to tell me? <laughs> talk about Mass Effect like I talk about Dragon Age. I never finished Dragon Age. I started Dragon Age Origins, I think. Is that what it's called? Or Inquisition. Inquisition. I started J Dragon Age Inquisition three different times, but every time, like, 20 hours in, I just... I just get lost. I'm just like, I can't do this anymore. I gotta stop. Is this your home? Maybe one day. Talk to me. Is this your home? Far Cry's are very simple games. I played Far Cry 4 for a little bit because when I bought my microphone, my original microphone, they accidentally gave me the wrong type of microphone. That in Well, they didn't give me the wrong type of microphone. I ordered a microphone. And they didn't have the version 
that I ordered. So they just gave me like a, a special edition microphone that included Far Cry 4. So I was like, big stoinks. Thank you. <laughs> but then I played it for like two hours and I was like, yeah, this shit sucks. <laughs> this shit sucks. Where the fuck? I heard you. You can't hide from me. Are you? Is there another ghost over out here? We could walk over here and have a chat with this guy. I like that there's two ghosts close together, so you could actually in investigate multiple ghosts if you wanted to. That's not really going to help you. Far Cry 3? I never played Far Cry 3. I only played Far Cry 4. I think, yeah, I'm pretty sure that, yeah, I only played that one. All right, where are you at, ghost? Let's ghost hunt in this game. They show up, yes. Uh, I wish that the demon could kill you in this game. Because the way the demon attacks is so terrifying... But they can't kill you. Obviously, ghosts don't kill people in real life. Otherwise, we would never hear the end of it. So... Wait, what the fuck? Oh, that's just this thing. So That looks so weird. So, they also don't kill you in this game. Which I think is a very interesting... The fact that this game is still so so immersive... Like, it's a super immersive and fun experience. And it doesn't need that added threat of you being able to die. Like, it's all about the slow investigation rather than, like, oh my god, I could die if I mess this up, lose my equipment. Like, that just doesn't really have a place here. And I find that very interesting. It's such a... It's such a clever, like, change of game mechanics. Uh, it, like, it's a very brave thing to do. Because it's really easy to just fall... Like, this... This is similar to why so many games that are, like... R RPGs add, like, random, arbitrary inventory limits to their game that are completely stupid and... Oh, this is just that again. That are stupid and shouldn't be there at all, and they don't add any gameplay besides you going to, like, a, a container every now and then to, like, swap out your items. Um, so many games just add random fluff to a game because other games did it, so they might there must be a reason for, for doing it, but... I find, I commend games that, like, think for themselves and are like, what does actually add any value to our game? And if it is, the answer is no, just don't do it. It's simple as that. But the, it sounds simple, but so many games just add random shit without thinking about it. Because, oh, well, other games did it, so there must be a reason why they did that. And Lily, thank you for these six months. Thank you. All right. I am actually completely lost here. There is no ghost. Are you out here? Like, I've always found it interesting that, like, with Dark Souls, for example, they were just like, inventory limits, screw that shit. I think Demon Souls had inventory limits, and then they were like, yeah, this shit's stupid as fuck. We're not gonna do that anymore. Are you real, Ghost? I know you. it talked three times in a row, and then it just disappeared off the face of the planet. I am con- oh, wait. Um, hello? You hear this? Wait, Hello? It is actually the coldest temperature I've ever seen. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Did you see the bar? Oh my god. These temp readings are unusual. Oh, I was just about to become the Joker. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yes. 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 Something is yes! going on here. Give me, give me These MF. temperature readings are definitely paranormal. Oh, we're farming. We're farming. Come on, give it to me. Where are you? The ghost is obviously walking over here. Uh, oh, out here? Yes, yes, yes. No! Come on. These lights are actually Let's go. I Can I do it again? Continue All farming. Come on. Actually get everything. You just gotta follow the ghost. I, it's really interesting because the ghost is actually war walking around. Oh, come on. Because the way the ghosts work in this game... Oh, let's go. The EMF meter. Nice! We got four, two this EMF, two temps. Temp... That is absolutely broken. Uh, the way the ghosts work in this game is that they're actually, like, always active. They're always active, always walking around. So in this map right now, the ghost in the mausoleum is probably having a field day. Just walking around, chilling in his whatever he's doing right now. We are not there, so we're not seeing it. Which I think is a really cool thing about this game, that the ghosts just kind of don't care about you. I mean, they do care when you're there, but when you're not there, they still just, like, do their thing, which is really cool. Why are you here? Yeah, the voice actor is always so calm. <laughs> Why are you here? Come on. Talk with me. Talk with me! Can, can you, you tell, tell me your, your can you tell me how to pronounce your name, please? 
can you tell me your name? It's not gonna tell me ever. It's not gonna tell me. I wonder who does the voice acting for this game. I think it might just be the dev. I'm not entirely sure. Because it's good. It's it's it really adds to the game. Like this is this game This is the ghost hunting game besides Phasmo that I am the most excited to see like in a few years from now. Because I really feel like this game is going in such an interesting direction. Like it is uh it's really different from all the other ones. They they really try to do something very uh, special and like not like mostly focused on experience instead of it just being like flashy. I think like Ghost Watchers is the perfect example of a game that tries to be flashy over substance, which is still fun, but it's a lot more it's a lot more marketable that way. Like if a game does a lot of flashy stuff with jump scares and and stuff like that, it's really marketable because it's very like easy to see what's going on as a viewer like oh well there's a jump scare i should scream right now simple whereas if there's a ghost walking around in the corner over there like let's see on this camera right now there will be a ghost walking that's a incredible cool creepy interaction but it might be missed by 90 percent of the players but having a lot of that stuff in your game which is in this game um you add so much more atmosphere and like different aspects that are like just make you want to replay the game over and over again and see whatever you can find uh and also just show you how much this could be like in the future just the subtle subtle stuff that happens during an a like a ghost hunt because i've actually never watched you know ghost hunting here? like youtube or television shows or anything like that i know a lot of people do i really got into ghost hunting you know with phasmo phasmo was the first interaction i've had with ghost hunting as a thing ever um the custom difficulty is now on the testing phase i i did not see that but let's go the phasmo custom difficulty is in testing now finally is this your home it's definitely it turned off the light wait wait is this your oh it home? did yes. wow that sounded like a response that yes! is very interesting Let's go! Okay! It lives here! Wait, this- it didn't turn off a light, are you crazy? I think it's still on. Right? Wait, can I- can I click this? Yeah, the light's still on! Can I- yeah, there we go. It- it lives here! This is the house! So this was your bed then, huh? You wanna talk with me over near your bed? What did you do in this bed, huh? Did you do some, uh, some freaky shit in here? Uh, do you like the current family living here? Do you like the current here? family living name, here? Name? Yeah, we could do that as well. That's very interesting. Like every ghost in this game, I've said this many times, obviously, because we've played Do this game like many times. you like the current family living um, here? One second, listen to the answer. No answer. Uh, every ghost has their own story. So there is a, we, if you uh, pay very close attention, you could figure, wait a minute. Anyway, let me finish my sentence before I start theorizing about what happened to this ghost. Um, Basically, every ghost has their own story. How did they die? Why are they here? Why are they still haunting this place? And eventually in this game, they want to add like some kind of mechanics where you can research the ghost beforehand so you can figure out. That's actually planned for the end of this month. For the end of this month, they have planned to finish that part of the game where you can research the ghost and go to a specific location to like... <laughs> Was that a fucking huge ghost orb, or am I crazy? Wait, what? I it didn't count as a photo. Wait, what the fuck? What? And it said, this is mine, not yours again. Excuse me? There's a huge ghost orb just now. What the fuck? That's, I've never seen that in this game. What the hell was that? That was so cool. <laughs> Wait, what? Can I talk with you? Was that a lantern? Can you tell me your name? Greedy ghost. So yeah, if you get all the voice responses and you learn about what it's doing, what Can it you looks tell me like, your name? you could figure out uh, what the what why the ghost died and why it's here and stuff like that. Okay, very interesting. I don't know what that ghost orb was though. That was that was crazy. Um, how many people are here <clears throat> other than me?
stay hydrated. How many people are here other than me? Fifteen. Okay, nothing. I maybe stay away from the door because it seems to come out of the door and like go to the bench over here. Because if you enter, I don't know what that ghost is. I've never seen a ghost like that, so I don't know what type of ghost this is going to be. Gary, thank you for the 18 months and Rose Dragonfire. Thank you for the 22 months. Thank you guys. All right, one second. Let's see, huh? Um, let's stand at the back here, maybe. Is this your? I mean, we already asked that. Uh, do you know why do you I'm know here? Why I'm here. So the ghosts get more active the more evidence you, know you find in this game. That's why you got to focus on finding the sim. Wow, that sounded like a response. That is very Indecipherable? What the fuck? What the hell was that noise? It said like something backwards. Excuse me? I wonder if you if you revert that, do you actually know what it says? Also, I swear I just saw a ghost looking through the window, but I might just be tripping myself out here. So we got two EVPs? This is definitely an uh, intelligent or a demon. I don't know if demons talk like that. I don't think they do. I think it's just a regular intelligence. I think so. Holy shit. Uh, so what did it say? That was on the do you know why I'm here, right? So why don't we ask why are, why you, are you here? here? Let's see. Why are you here? I'm... I have to be careful now. This ghost really seems to want to talk on the EVP. We already got two. I don't know if there's going to be more. I've never had a ghost talk more than twice on the uh, on the the meter, the recorder. So I don't know. Maybe that's possible. Maybe it isn't. Hey, hey, Warka, what's up? How are you doing? All right, we're stepping back. Stepping back over here. Is this your home? We already asked. Why are you here? We already got an answer. I would Can love you to hear you pronounce your own name. That would be kind of funny. Siegerstein. Can you tell me your name? Come on. Nope. Nothing. It's, it's very comfy. The, the thing that I want to see in this game, like, the things that would greatly improve the already amazingness of this game would be... Like, I really want to see it move into a direction of, like, Thief Simulator. I think Thief Simulator's, like, formula of having a main base where you stay, which is kind of already in this game, and then going out to missions to, like, steal stuff, in this case, investigate ghosts, like, going in and out of those type of missions, and they're, like, set... There was something over there. What the fuck? Something between the leaves. Unless I'm crazy? I might be crazy. I swear I saw something. Um, like, you have these, like, semi-open world missions where you go out to investigate... Uh, figure out how you can best steal from your location, and then you can plan your own uh, your own heist and get whatever you want, right? And the same thing could apply to this, where you do like a little research, you figure out where are the ghosts, what are, why are they here, and stuff like that, and then you go into the location to actually investigate, get some audio recordings, get some uh, like photos that you can place in like to, to show off what you've done like have a little re reputation system in the game where you have like uh, you get better over time and more people want to call you over to their place so you can go to more prestigious locations stuff like that i would love to see more equipment that could give you more like equipment that you can actually buy like a progression system where you can like level up you start with you start as like a high school student who just does this in their free time for fun and just had like an emf sensor that they bought with their like pocket money and then you turn into like uh a true ghost hunter that has like all kinds of crazy stuff uh to get all kinds of awesome uh in all kinds of awesome evidence and the thing if you make the game like a prestige system and stuff you could have the first missions you can play be very simple and not require any of the later items but then you can make a bunch of later missions super in, in complicated with lots of special evidence to stuff that you can find um to give those items more purpose without like really burdening the developer to make every ghost super advanced right um do you like the current family that, that you really so. my go my origin story do i have my emf i'm an emf over there do you like the current family living here yes look my emf Oof. Boop, boop, boop. 
love this thing. It looks it looks exactly like the EMF from from Phasmo. <laughs> well, if if it was white, and also got a spare box right here. Look at that. Beep. It's super small. <laughs> Look at that tiny thing. It's so cute. Where did I get that? I just googled ghost hunting equipment, and then I just bought it. I think I bought it from Amazon or something. All right, can we talk? Uh, how many... Is there anything you would like to tell me? Is there anything you'd like to tell me? It's not small. It's average. That's what you said. Is there anything you'd like you to tell me? You recorded it for the sound effect of your game? Let's go. Can we talk on the spirit box? Can we... Let's see. Turn it on. Oh, is it battery? I think I ran out of battery. <laughs> Come on! I think the battery's out. God damn it, I broke my EMF. Or I broke my spirit box. Well, or no, it's not broken, but the battery is out. Anyway, um... Hello? Is there a ghost out here? The EMF reader is also... Yeah, it is a K2 meter. The only thing I've ever gotten EMF from is when I... When I hold it against my computer. If I hold my thing at my computer, I get an EMF 4. EMF 4. Nothing else, like... This, the Connor receives this paranormal PI is a little bit, like, exaggerated because... Holy shit, that's loud. Who is it? that? I'm glad I captured it with you. Really? What, what does that mean? So let's um, analyze, right? What I was thinking, so this guy must have died somehow, right? Bo, Bo the Ostrich, thank you for the... Or Bo the Ostrich, thank you for the five good subs, thank you. Um... Did they die in, like, a kerfuffle where they were like, this is my shovel, and then, no, it's your shovel, no, and then they just, like, got killed or somehow? <laughs> That's what I'm, like, the cartoonish version of this that I'm, uh, uh, imagining. What else? How, how would that be related to them dying? Did they get, like, robbed? Maybe they got robbed, and they were like, that is... But why would you say it that way? You wouldn't say, like, this is mine, not yours, when you're literally getting fucking robbed. That seems kind of stupid. Obviously, it's mine, not yours, because you stole it. But it, it, so it must be... It must be a more... A less heated situation. Maybe talking about the house? Hmm. Probably something... Yeah, that sounds like something you say to someone you know. And not to, like... Um, not to a, someone who was literally robbing your house right now. Um, also, this ghost should be very activated. I wonder if you can go around. Like, can we go over here? I need to look behind me so we don't miss the ghost. And find the other ghost now? I don't know if they share their aggression. Because every ghost gets more aggressive the more you collect evidence. But I don't know if you have to collect specific evidence to that ghost to make the ghost more aggressive or not. Here, run. Thank you for the 19 months. Thank you. We've I've only seen that ghost ball over here, so I'm just like staying out here at the front to see if I can get another interaction. I don't know. Maybe you can walk around in other places as well. I kind of want to check out the mausoleum, see if the candles are on, because this is like immediate feedback to know if the ghost has been walking around or if it's just been chilling. I can't, I want to go over here for just a second because I love this place. We spent like so long here last time. This ghost is very interesting and a lot of cool stuff to do. That's a very tall door. Are the candles on? Wow, what a silent place. The candles are not on, so it's been kind of chilling this time. Wow, what a... This is too quiet. I need to leave. What the fuck, man? That's creepy. Close that. <laughs> That's too quiet. Maybe it's been chilling outside. That is... They're... Someone's playing a little instrument. The gentleman ghost. Yeah, if you didn't see that one, last video has us investigating that location completely. I think we do have... Oh! Oh! What? Did you see that shit? I didn't... It was too far for the photo. What the fuck? What the heck, man? I That was a ghost. That was... So it can be out here too, huh? 
it was walking into the trees and then it disappeared. But it still had... That was actually a person, though. Not a ghost orb. I saw him on the cam. Did he climb up the tree? I don't know. I don't think so. You could totally have taken... What the fuck? You could totally have taken a proper ghost photo there. I know I was far away, but come on now. We saw it. You could zoom in, make one of those uh, super low quality ghost photos where you just put like a giant red circle around the ghost. This is what I mean, though. This is what adds so much te like suspense and immersion to this game. Stuff like that. It's very restrained. This like the best way to describe this game is that it's a very restrained game where they're not giving away everything for free. Like you have to work for it. You have to actually look around, have patience. Like, if you don't have patience and you're not ready to just be, like, in a mission for a while to find all the all the evidence properly, uh, you're not gonna find anything. Because you're gonna be rushing. I mean, I you saw when that happened. I was a little, I was getting a little impatient, so I walked away. And as soon as I walked away, I missed the thing. So, yeah. Wow. I, I took a photo of a ghost. What the fuck? What is your face? Is that a- oh. not yours. Does he have a baby His face looked like it was like a mask of a baby. What the fuck? I swear it was not a normal face. Are you a serial killer? Are you the one who digs the graves because you are the one who kills the people? What the? And why would... This is mine, not yours. Dude, that guy is creepy as heck. Walking around with a lantern? What is that ghost orb? What? What is the ghost orb? We saw it, but I don't know what the significance is of the ghost orb. That is really cool. We got an actual ghost photo. Photographs taken during this investigation or display profound evidence of paranormal investig... Or paranormal... Uh... I'm stupid. Paranormal activity at this location. That is awesome. I want to see the ghost orb. Can you show the ghost orb? Like, I don't know what the guy is going to say about that. So what what we saw there is that the, the light appeared and then the ghost just started walking around. Maybe the light is the lantern? No, it's not just the, la the lantern. It definitely was like a flying orb. It, it wasn't like the full model that shows up, showed up. It's the, didn't they say it was the grave digger? I think that's what they called him. It was the lantern. I'm so sure it was not the lantern. That the air ball that showed up in front here, if you revert the video to when that happened, I can promise you it was not, there was no ghost attached to the thing. It was just a ball of light. It was just a ball of light. Now, the question is, will we see that again? I definitely want to stay away from the porch here, because that seems to be where it shows up. Turn off the lights? Why? I mean... I guess that is true. Maybe he... Oh, yeah, because if he can show up inside, that is very true, very true. If he can show up inside, we can see easily when he does, because there will be lights that aren't... Like, if we turn off all the lights. Can you check the cemetery? You can check anywhere. You can check multiple... You can do multiple... Oh! <gasps> That is so fucking cool. That is so fucking cool. Uh, this is my favorite. It might be... Wow. I, I took a photo of a ghost. What the hell was that interaction? It showed up only to disappear? The fuck? That was really cool. He's trying to... He's trying to get me. This is definitely an intelligent ghost, not a demon, but I, I can't, they gotta add another demon. There's only, there's like so many intelligence, so many residuals. There's quite a few poltergeists and a lot of shadow ghosts. There is no other demon. We need another demon. And they, it would be cool if the demon was the only ghost that could kill you. It's to like, cause that, imagine, that would add 
so much. Oh, there was a she. How rare to take a photo of a ghost. I was. I told you. That who was right? Tell me. I told you so. It was not the ghost. It was not a lantern. It's a fucking ghost orb. It's not the lantern. It's a ghost orb. What? Why? What the heck? This is such a cool. You could just have your camera out, and then when you see the light appear, you know there's gonna be a ghost right there. I don't know what the significance is of that. Also, can we? Let's stand over here. Can we have more EVP? Is it possible? Because we have gone. Can you tell me your can name, you tell please, Seth Siegerstein? Come on. Can you tell me your name? I'm gonna go through all the questions. I don't think we can repeat questions, but is this your home? We already got that. How many people are here? You should ask this one. Other than me. My name is Jeff. I don't think that's bugged. How many people are here? That makes no sense. Other than me. Do you like the current family? Come on. Do you like the current family living here? Talk to me. Look, looking around if there's a ghost. Do you like the current family living here? I want to know everything. So there's... This is his house. He said something indecipherable with what, with when I asked, do you know why I'm here? Is there anything you'd like to tell me? And then he has two different forms. He could be either a ghost orb, which is really weird, or just a normal ghost. Is there anything you'd like to tell me? Come on. You peace. Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? I don't know if it's better out here. Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? I was going to say Mr. Siegerstein. All right, I don't know. We got two. I've never had more than two uh, EVPs. I don't think it's possible. I don't think it's possible. But if you, you could tell, me, tell your me your name, I would be forever grateful. So I don't know what the story is then of Can this ghost. Can you tell me your name? Because some of the indoor some. Hey! Wow, that sounded like a response. That's that not your name. We got three EVPs. Are you insane? But it didn't say anything. You said hate. Hate? It said Dave. I don't think he said. I think he said hate. But it said indecipherable. So I don't think it was supposed to be understood. We have gotten the most ever. I've obtained an outstanding amount. I've. It doesn't even have a th thing for it. It doesn't even have text for it. The max is two EVPs in one investigation is incredible. We got three. It's so many, the game doesn't even expect you to get that many. <laughs> what the fuck? I think we truly 100% of this mission. We got, we got photos of the two different ghost forms, which is a ghost orb and a, like, a guy with a lantern, which definitely seems like they're, like a gravekeeper kind of ghost. And it, he got stolen from and killed in the robbery. I don't... I feel like it's not something you'd say to someone that's robbing you. This is mine, not yours. I mean, I guess if you were born in the, in the 50s or something, maybe that's how you respond. I don't know. But yeah. Um, and then besides that... Yeah, that, and then it lives in this house, or it used to. And it said some indecipherable stuff to do you know why I'm here and what is your name? Oh, there it is. He has a shovel. His face is... I'm gonna run into him. This is not yours. His face is fucked up. Does he have eyeballs? Does he have no eyeballs? It doesn't look like his eyeballs. Did he get, like, horribly mutilated or something? What the fuck? This is mine, not yours, is what he says. That seems to be the only thing I, he can say. I don't know why that he's so obsessed with that line, but yeah, I think that is a proper 100% investigation. What a cool ghost. Very cool model. Like, the fact that it has a light might make it, like, my favorite model out of all of them. Because it just adds so much to the, to the ghost. And the orb mode as well? Whatever that means. I want to see if there's a ghost out here. I don't know if the other... What the fuck was that? 
I don't know if the other ghosts get de- What might happen is if you start an investigation on one of the ghosts, the others get disabled because otherwise it would take way too many resources to have all the ghosts active at once, maybe? I don't know, because we didn't see any candles be lit in the mausoleum, which makes me think they probably- Maybe it's based on a little bit of proximity as well. Like, if you're not close enough to a ghost, it's not just gonna do a whole bunch of things that you can't see anyway. But yeah, that was- Let's see. That was a proper 100% investigation of a intelligent ghost, a gravekeeper ghost. Very cool. Can't wait to see the future of this game. I So at the end of this month, we'll see the research. Oh, this is new. What the fuck? The EMF readings. The EMF readings uh, located several field spikes. Uh, the cold spots detected during the investigation were found to be paranormal. An overwhelming amount of audio was collected. The photographs taken during this investigation display profound evidence of paranormal activity. This is so much better than the white f blasting screen. See, we've got a gold trophy there. CSPI obtained conclusive evidence on the mentioned on the above mentioned devices, supporting the fact that this location is haunted. More investigations are required to determine the nature of the haunting and bring closure to the spirits. They changed the way that's worded. Worded. So this makes me think that they really are planning to not just have. And like a separate investigation phase where you figure out where the haunted locations are and where you can go in duty investigation itself obtain a bunch of evidence that you can like replay in your office observe like I would love to actually see like some video some simple video editing like editing the contrast on stuff to see some extra things that you didn't see before and then like replay like revert audios or like distort them in some ways to actually hear what stuff is saying that would be so cool and then figure out what the ghost is and why it's there and then actually exercise it as well. That would be really cool. So yeah, that is the next ghost of Paranormal PI. Let me know what you think of this game. I definitely think this is this is the game I personally am looking like out for the most. I'm like in the bushes looking at this game constantly because I think it's moving in a very cool direction. So yeah, let me know what you think. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you're not subscribed, please do so. If you like the video, like it. If you dislike it, let's like it. And if you want to join the love, the game is here in chat. You can join us over at twitch.tv slash insert every single day at 7 p.m. Central European thought. Thank you very much for watching. I love you and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye, guys. Bye-bye. Have a good one. Bye, guys.